So as you can see here, we have the Arc Correction software. Now this is software that runs as a plugin in any DAW you have. So you can run it in Pro Tools, you can run it in Cubase, Logic, Ableton Live, anything, uh, any uh, DAW that you have. And it goes on your master output. It's the very last thing in the signal chain. It's the very last plugin that you want to put on there. And what you can see here is you've got your graph that shows you what measurements were taken. And the orange line here is the before. So we can see that this is what the speaker is doing in the room that it's in. This is the left side, this is the right side. Now the white line here is what's going to happen after the arc correction has been applied. And you can see how it really flattens that out. So you can see we have some spikes down here up to about 6 dB or so here. And the white line really does a good job of flattening that out. Now, as I was saying before in the other video, you actually take several measurements depending on the speaker set you have. And we have here, we have some Mackie setups. And these menus that I'm showing you now is uh, for our client sofa, the wide area for the whole room, and then the mix area, the engineer's uh, spot where he would mix. And then here is our Yamaha mix area just for our Yamaha speakers. And you can see here the graphs are completely different. You can see the curves here are very, very different. Now an important thing to note is that the ARC measurement system does not extend your speaker beyond its natural range. So you're not going to have to worry about damaging your speakers. Now over here we have the target curve where you can change your target curve. The target curve is the green line here. So you have four different curves. You've got flat, which is just straight across. You have a high frequency roll off. You have a flat mid compensation. And you have a high frequency roll off with mid compensation. Now the reason why we put mid compensation in there is because a lot of uh, monitor speakers have a bit of a dip where the crossover occurs between the highs and the lows. And we decided that to leave that in there might be a good idea because you might want to mix with that still in there. But if you want to mix just flat, you can do that. And you can see how it's affecting the white line here as well. And then you would turn the correction on and off as you need to. You could play something. And you're not really going to be able to hear it here, but you can just kind of see it, what it's doing. You also have a decibel reader here. It's going to show you your dBs. Turn it off, on. Now you would mix with the plug-in turned on, and the cool thing is that you could mix just as you normally mix. But when you go to bounce down your uh, song, you turn it off and you bounce down with the arc correction turned off. So that's it for the arc plug-in.